Now, there was some situation that happened the other day with LinkedIn um, and data from LinkedIn profiles. So what happened was there's some person who's selling data from 500 million <laughs> LinkedIn profiles. Um, they're selling this on a website and essentially the original post seeks to sell an arch uh, archive of 500 million users and offers a cache of 2 million profiles as proof that it exists. And the company um, claims um, the archive only contains publicly facing information and the person who claims ownership to the data is asking for four digit minimum price for access to the full archive. And he's selling samples for as little as two dollars um, in, in form credits. And LinkedIn, they, they came out and responded to this and they said that while we're still investigating the issue, the posted data set appears to include publicly viewable information that was scraped from LinkedIn combined with data aggregated from other websites or companies and they said scraping our members data from LinkedIn violates our terms of service and we are constantly working to protect our members and their data. In addition to this, they said we have investigated um, an alleged set of LinkedIn data that has been posted for sale and have determined that it's actually an aggregation of data from a number of websites, companies, um, websites and companies. It does include publicly view viewable member profile data, but this really is still against their their terms and services. So in their terms and services, they say that you can't scrape data um, for, you can't do this. You can't scrape data. You can't do what they're doing. So it violates the terms of service. We'll see what happens here. But this is a lot of data. We saw recently with Facebook, Facebook had another issue where someone was selling 530 um, data for 530 million accounts. So we'll see, this is a pretty co common issue. We see this happen a lot with a lot of, a lot of social media platforms where people are scraping data, then selling the data, and a lot of the times it violates terms of uh, the terms and conditions when people sign up, and these things get shut down. So we'll see what happens here, but um, it's not like anyone is at risk because it is publicly faced pay, facing information. So there's nothing to worry about there, but still um, it does violate terms and services. So something to keep an eye out on moving forward. Yeah.